Today we're talking how to day trade the news. Michael Toma will show you an example of how he traded the PPI release a couple of days ago in the US. You see the stuff he analyzes on the chart, trades he takes, and all that good stuff. And you get to see how to day trade the news like a trader with 30 years of experience. Let's dive right in. So hey guys, I'm doing a quick video. Actually, it's going to be live and kind of raw, so pardon pardon the Friday morning mess. But uh, PPI just came out, and I'm always looking for an opportunity to see if I can catch some sort of end of the week green. Um, I really don't like to load it heavy. I like to protect green, but you know, sometimes on these news events, uh, I like to see if people are trapped. So uh, let's go right to the screens. I want to we'll walk you through this and see if we got a trade. Great. Um, if not, yeah, that's okay too. I, I like to see a three push. So you got that first, second, and I want to see it actually make new lows. I'm looking to go long only here. So uh, if anything, and I'm willing to not have a trade, so this may be just a wasted video. But look at that third push, and as confluence, and I'll show you in a little bit, is on a bigger picture, I'm looking for a 618 fib retracement and a bounce up to the 382. And I don't have to get the full bounce, okay? So right now, what's interesting to me is and when I'm watching it, again, this is experience, but this really isn't just about like, you know, do I enter here or do I enter there? I'm looking at tempo. What do I see here? Right? What's the one thing I'm noticing? This is a one minute chart and it's live. Okay. It, it's not like this 60 point S&P ES futures down move. And it's like moving five points a clip. It's very orderly. Okay. So keep that in mind when you look at these things. Like I know it's about position and break of bars and stuff. But let's get this. What's the nuance here? It's orderly and it's making new lows. Okay. So I like that. What it's doing is slowly getting people trapped, preferably. And let's face it, institutions aren't trading, you know, at 830 in the morning, big blocks and stuff. So you're basically getting retail traders. And those are the ones that are going to probably panic the most. So I want to see and play this out. The 618 is the 618 retracement is around the 30 mark. So I like the round number. So what am I doing now? I'm gonna start maybe putting a position in at around 32, here we go, around 32 and a half. So I'm liking this where, where, it's, where it's heading right now. Again, may not be a trade, I'm gonna to toss the to feeler in. I really wanna see 30. I'd like to see like 29 and a half and a sharp bounce. Um, will that happen? I don't know. I mean, you know, anything can happen pre-market. But I like where it's going. The NASDAQ, also I'm watching, the NASDAQ is up pre-market. Granted, it's back to about even, but to me, that's that's kind of like a catalyst for me. It just gives me a little arsenal in my back. So what I'm looking for is I wanna see sort of a relatively big flush out because price action right here is very lethargic, right? So it tells me that there's not big blocks coming in. Um, and if it is a lot of retail traders saying, oh, market's down, you know, the world's coming to an end, interest rates are probably up or I don't even know what the news is. I don't even care. So I'm looking at tempo. Tempo is interesting to me. And I'm looking at that third wave and possibly coming into the 30. So I have a very small position here, all right, if there's a bounce. And obviously, it's not happening right now. So I'm looking to see if that 30, that's really the meat. That's really where I should be getting in. Preferably 29 and a half, 29 and a quick bounce, all right? So let's see what happens here. Uh, I'm watching this uh, yeah, kind of closely. It's, it's, it's Friday morning, try to protect the green. So I, I don't want to go too crazy here, but you know, I, I'd like to see if I can get a nice bounce. That would be uh, pretty cool. Okay, so now we're seeing the flush out. Kind of like what I'm seeing here. But again, this go to 24 and I'm losing interest. So I want to see like 29 and a half, may not get it. See this bounce? Okay, I'm kind of starting now. The hair on the back of my neck is starting to come up. Okay, this is where I start to, okay, this is, where, look, I'm sitting on the edge of my seat now and everything like that. So um, now I'm getting ready. So okay, so now I'm going to go to my trade execution screen. Uh, I'm in. And again, I'm not even looking at price right now. I'm just tossing a car on this. Um, I don't want to have more than, say, four contracts, right? That's about, you know, one third of my normal position. So again, just see if I can pick up some Friday green. And uh, if when I render this video, I may have to block out my account number. Okay, so here we go. So see, we had that flush out. Um, so I'm in. I had two more. Okay, I got 34. 32 and a half. 
and that's it. I think my average, we'll see what my average is. And again, I'm not, see, I'm not like looking at price too much. I'm, I mean, I'm looking at price, but I'm not looking at my average size. What's my profit? It's like, I'm purely looking at price action and where my targets can be, right? The 382 is around 42, but I want to see it hold. By the way, I have a, a nine and a 30 period moving average. The nine is the blue and the 30. So I'm going to put my FIDs up to see where I'm at in relative short term. This is again, it's a one minute chart. So I have a 37 and a three quarters. That's a logical place to take some off. But I'm going to be a greedy bastard and go for like 38.93, which is the 3.8. A normal bounce is 38.2. It's a normal, normal healthy bounce on a one minute chart. All right. Am I going to be greedy? Probably I might regret it. But um, so I'm going to put 38 and a half and I'm going to go for, and I don't like the round number. So I'm going to go for 39 and a half as my balance. Okay. And let me see if I can put my do my text here. Again, I don't want to toggle too much and confuse everyone, but I like to keep the focus on the charts, but this is normal live price action and we'll see what happens. This could be a train wreck, but uh, either way, I'm going to render it. Um, so we'll see what happens again. One minute chart, not worried about it. What am I thinking now? What's going through my head? All right. I really want 41 and three quarters, right? That'd be the 50% retracement. 42 is the 618 to the 382 on a bigger time frame. All right. Uh, bigger, you know, it's like a, from yesterday's, you know, yesterday's uh, high, so yesterday's low. So it's not that big of a time frame. So I'm just, again, looking for a bounce here. Um, not worried about p and I'm, I'm probably, I'm in the green now, obviously, but that can change in a flash. So I'm not worried about that too much. So I'm going to put my orders in uh, 38 and a half, 39 and three quarters. Let's do that. And if it goes to 42, who knows? I just, you know, you, you want to be a little conservative and I don't want to be, you know, a dick for a tick. So, um, okay. So that look, that's all set. And again, I want to double check my stuff. When you toggle between execution platforms and, tra and charting platforms, it's always a little bit confusing. Uh, so, uh, or just, you know, a little bit, again, kind of last minute thing. I saw this opportunity. For, I, I'm literally pushing the button as we speak on, on the record button too. So, so this holding this nine is really important. All right. I don't mind that pullback. Actually, I kind of like it because it's actually shows me it's a little healthy. If it fails there, that's fine. It is what it is. I mean, it is a down move, but the fact that it's holding there now I want to start to see some panic and quite honestly, not really seeing too much of it, but that's okay. You know, set it and forget it. Um, you know, see what happens. Stops below the low. Uh, that's automatic. That automatic is generated when I put a uh, order in. So, I have my T1, that should be T1, uh, that's 38 and a half and 39 and three quarters is my T2, okay? But I'm just doing on the chart visually so we don't keep toggling and give everyone a headache, all right? But I like what's happening here. Again, it's a one minute chart. It's tough to, it's tough to tell. I mean, you know, it's, it's tough to, uh, you know, identify things like on a one minute chart, but Clearly, hopefully we'll see some panic here, kind of 38 and a half. Um, you might see actually in the upper left, my other platform notification of execution, which didn't happen. So, you know, um, my life is print no fill. So you know, that's okay. But I, I like the price action. Notice we're having a little bit of a bull flag here again, a one minute. So I'm going to discount it a, a lot. But the fact that the flag tells me that actually I, think I have 38 and three quarters, same. Well, we'll find out. I don't want to toggle and give everyone a headache, but, um, and again, if I do get filled, it should, there we go. Okay. It's notification. So it's good. So I'm out and let me see, let's see if I can toggle it. Yeah. So, okay, good. So four contracts flat, always double check, make sure you're flat. Um, you know, if I use a Dom, it's much easier, but kind of happened all at once really quick here today. So, uh, you know, and I saw great to start off a Friday morning where I didn't expect to be trading, uh, the morning. So, you know, we'll take it. Let's say, um, I'll go back to 
Let me go back to the chart here. Okay. So it's probably going to test that, uh, that 50% bounce. Yeah. Let's go to my, I want to go to the bigger picture. I want to just, cause I was talking about it earlier. Like what's the catalyst? Well, the news obviously is the catalyst, but I want to see panic. All right. But as you can see right here, this is where I wanted to show you the bigger picture ambush zone retracement. Okay. That fit bounce from 0.618 to 0.382. Very powerful. One of the top confluence uh, indicators I have, uh, indicators, confluence patterns that I have uh, for bounces. By the way, this day can go to new lows now. I mean, it doesn't bother me. It's very normal. But as price goes down, you get a little panic. You get that bounce and flush out. Who knows what happens today? We could be at you know new dip lows for the past five days, but that's sort of the catalyst as a scalper, um, putting relatively proportionally about one third of my size, normal size on, and uh, you know we'll leave it at that. Take a break, refresh my coffee, and start the start the trading day. Hope you enjoyed. All right, so I hope you get some good value out of this. If you know the comment section below, as always, I want to hear your thoughts on this. If you agree with Michael, if you're taking the same trades, if you like to see more of this, give a like that video today. That will mean a lot, and I'll make sure that Michael comes back to teach you more stuff and show more examples of live trading sessions. Make sure to subscribe if you're not done yet. Please videos like this three times a week, and I'll catch you back here in the next video pretty soon. Ciao.